But we're asked to calculate odds. <clears throat> odds are calculated by using the number that meet criteria A, and then you compare that to the number that do not meet criteria A. So you don't actually use the total in your final answer for odds. So what are the odds that those five cars belong to his friends? Uh, there's 192 cars in the parking lot. Bill is looking for his five friend cars. So he's randomly choosing five cars. So there's five cars that he could choose that belong to his friends. So there's five cars or five options that meet the criteria, right, of being belonging to his friends. You could say, like, um, there's five people out of a total of 192 that have a disease. Well, the odds of picking five people that have the disease, there's five out of, there's five people that have the disease, and then there's 187 that do not. So that would be the odds ratio. Same thing with this car. Um, there's five cars that meet the criteria of belonging to his friends. And then you compare that to the 187 other cars that do not belong to his friends. So that's the odds ratio. Picking five cars, having them all belong to his friends.